Hello and welcome to Big Num Numismatics. Today I have some gold quarter eagles and some super high grade coins in NGC fatties. Uh, a few personal collection items for the first time in a very long time. And without further ado, I'm going to start off with this 1900 quarter eagle. NGC 4.0 fatty, 64 cac. The first thing you'll notice about this coin is that it's pretty original. The skin is amazing. Uh, there's no putty or PVC or anything. Just a nice gold, orange, yellow. Um, coin has a decent amount of marks, um, but they're pretty superficial. See, the only one that really catches the eye is the one on the cheek there. But uh, the rest disappear uh, when you turn the coin. So, a super nice 64. Um, I misremembered how nice this coin was. I didn't get a good look last time and paid a little bit too much money than I should have based off of that. Um, still super nice. 65 is like a $900 coin, if I remember correctly. Uh, next, we're going to shift gears back to some modern stuff and then go back to some earlier gold. Um, some more. Uh, this is definitely going in my collection. I really like Ike's. I like Ike. Um, and they're super common, so one way to make it more challenging is to only buy them in fatties. And so this is a nice 5.0, which is the first slab they've actually um, were graded in by NGC. I mean, it's just an Ike. I like the coins, they're big. And this makes it more challenging. Uh, this one's not uh, super nice. Uh, I'm trying to look for ones without some of that uh, haze from the uh, mint packaging. This one's not bad though. This one does look quite nice. Um, Ikes are notorious for getting um, what eventually turns into nice target toning from the like GSA packs um, But 99% of the time it just turns into environmental damage So next we have this 18430 small date Quarter Eagle Mm-mm-mm this one I love. I've been getting more into quarter eagles recently. Um, they're super rare. Like just mintages are beyond low for every single one. Uh, post 1900 is a bit different. Um, but especially earlier ones, you can get some with like a mintage of 10,000 with hardly any known. And uh, they're like essentially melt, but uh, it's a super hard uh, series to collect. Probably the most difficult, honestly, if you go by date and mint mark. And uh, for that reason, they're not really collected by series as much as some of the other coins. And so uh, the rare ones kind of get grouped in with one another as like a type coin instead. Um, oh, for the small date, uh, small dates have that uh, little crosslet off the four, and large dates are, for one, a lot bigger, uh, but it's super easy to identify because the four just has a straight line off the back instead of the little extra. Um, it's graded XF40, um, I'm thinking like a solid 45. Um, when I look at this coin, I'm not thinking two steps away from AU. 
I'm just thinking like one. Like, um, but you know, not a huge price difference, but it just looks super nice. That one's staying in the personal collection for as long as I can. All right, next, second to last coin is this MS-68 NGC 4.0. Mm. I used to collect Roosevelt dimes and tried to put a registry set uh, together, but eventually, you know, sold off all of that and went more into type coins, but this one is just Ooh, surfaces are so nice. You got some dye polish on the left. And uh, early San Francisco coins are super nice. Always have that great luster. But Roosevelt dime, but it is quite nice. And finally, my favorite of the batch this incredible mercury dime. Ooh. NGC white label, 67 full bands CAC, and just a knockout coin. Ooh. Luster is amazing, and uh, the holder, this is the last uh, 67. Uh, known in white labels. Uh, the last seven was cracked out and made it into an eight full band. So that's unfortunate, um, but I was lucky enough to buy this before it uh, went to the guillotine. Mm. Like, regardless of the holder, this is just an insane coin. Got all the pinks, purples, light greens. Oh man. Super neat. And that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.